Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. We'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and then the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq and then the tech stocks. And as you can see, there has been a lot of action today. Um, S&P 500 fell more than 2% uh, today, roughly from here to roughly there. That's roughly 2.85% it fell. And uh, well, that's a basically massive fall. One reason for this is basically the, the coronavirus and of course also the political theater in the United States. That's what the headlines are saying. But if you just look at the technical analysis, this is something that we have been anticipating for quite some time. A move of roughly minus 2 3% has been anticipated for several weeks now because this has just been going up and up and up. And usually when that happens, you have one of these massive pullbacks. If you just look at the if you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, here, there have been three occasions where we have been way outside of the top of the Bollinger Band. And usually when that happens, you have these massive pullbacks. So it is, didn't happen here. It didn't happen here. But today when we went all of outside of the Bollinger Band, it basically just collapsed uh, through the middle. And also it's a bit, almost tested the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is fairly rare, to be fair honest. We can just go all the way back here. We have to go... All the way back to this is roughly um, October, uh, the last time we touched the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So fairly rare, to be fair and honest. But otherwise, other technical indicators, they are still looking fairly, um, fairly bearish at this point. We may see uh, the S&P 100 um, stay within the range of the 20 exponential uh, for a day or two. But these moves to the downside are basically buying opportunities. I've been buying it. Um, I've been putting out signals basically but it's, uh, on Patreon that you can basically buy it at this stage because um, I don't think that we're going to see moves like this. Of course, um, you have this uh, political fear there basically in the United States as well uh, with the election and so on, but nothing will come of it. When those votes have been casted, that's going to be positive news again and then markets are going to rally. There's nothing going to happen in the market or elections whatsoever so on so um i don't think that's the reason why we are seeing this pullback i just think this is just completely normal because we were way overstretched and we were anticipating this pullback for quite some time but macd negative is still above zero so it's it's a uh, it's uh it's still bull uh, bullish in the long run uh, rsi has turned around quite significantly and that is very healthy at this point because we were uh, way too high. So we're at 54 now. CCI is becoming negative or bearish and uh, stochastic is bearish. But if you look at, for example, in the in the one hour chart, we can see that we are already turning around here and uh, crossing the signal line probably within the uh, next hour or two. And after that, we are going to see this rally again. So 4,000 is the target and uh, that is roughly 320 um, uh, roughly uh, 214 uh, points at this stage. So we'll just put this to the daily chart again. So at this point, definitely buy and a target of 4,000 with a stop loss right underneath here. So let's look at the Dow Jones. The same goes here. We broke down quite significantly. And you can just see here in the Bollinger Band, we have been trading outside of the Bollinger Band for several days now, way overstretched, and this was completely anticipated. People that were buying at this stage were just complete gambling or didn't know what they were doing. Um, you need these pullbacks in order to enter this market. Whether or not you buy in too fast or so on, it's very difficult to know when this is going to find the major support. Um, Usually a target of the 20 exponential, that's a good entry. If you can get it all the way down here, then yes, you are very, very, very lucky. But if you look at the technical indicators for the, for the Dow Jones, they are at this point looking fairly 
uh, fairly bearish, but it's also because we fell more than 2%, nearly 3% um, when it was most. And that is going to have an effect on these technical indicators. But these are basically buying opportunities. Um, stop loss right on the heath here with a target of uh, 30, 31,000. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is down uh, minus 1.85% uh, at this point. We broke through the 20 exponential moving average and then rallied again. And now we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. We're down here now in the RSI. We were uh, fairly overbought. We are at 63 at this point. It may fall a little further. It would actually be good if we got down to 55 or 50 uh, because then there will be quite a lot of room to the upside. We also tested the top of the Bollinger Band. It was a sign that we were about to break down. And these they are basically buying opportunities. Stochastic is bearish. The CCI is bearish. The MACD is bearish at this point. So it'll probably take a day or two before this turns around. See something similar to this. Stay around um, the 20 exponential and then continue rallying. So 13,000, that is definitely the target. Probably 13,500 is the target for January. So let's look at Netflix. So Netflix down minus 3.5% at this point, but we're trading above the 20 exponential moving average. We were also way overstretched here. Just see the bullish band, we were way outside, and then we broke down towards the middle. But the 20 exponential has been fairly uh, supportive in the past, especially the, the, um, the 40 exponential right underneath. And therefore, I started buying in with, around this area here. If we look at the, at the technical indicators, they are turning around, becoming bearish, but I don't think that we're going to see a massive decline in Netflix, Netflix stock. Uh, we're probably just going to see more of the same thing just continuing going upwards. So these massive falls here are definitely the buying opportunities. So a target here is, is basically the highs here. And if we manage to break through them, then they're basically the all time highs here of 571. So let's look at Apple. Apple is down. It was down more than 3%, nearly 4% when I started buying into this. So this was fairly anticipated. We were way outside of the Bollinger Band only four trading sessions ago, and we declined ever since. I think I basically said that we were expecting a decline towards the 20, uh, 20 exponential. That's roughly a fall of 6.48%. And today we got down to 8.18% from the from these highs. And we have found support here. That means that we could basically be you know, turning around at this stage. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some kind of choppy trading here the next few trading days until we basically go higher. Technical indicators are turning around. We are no longer overbought here in RSI. MACD is turning around, stochastic is turning around, CCI is turning around. So if this fall more than this then I would expect the 40 exponential to be significant uh, support. If that happens, I will buy even more of this. So look at Microsoft. Microsoft had a horrible day today. We're down with 2.6% at this current stage. We found major uh, support here at the 50 moving average. And uh, from here on, I think it's only up. Uh, we may probably go and test the 100. But that is probably as far as this uh, stock will go. Technical indicators are looking very, very uh, bearish at this point. But we have also been falling for the last uh, four trading days. We went from 227 all the way down to uh, 214. That's roughly 5.45% fall in only four trading days. That's a fairly massive fall. After that we may see a continuation higher. Definitely a buy down here with a stop loss run underneath and the target of these previous highs and then most likely also these highs here. So we have been trading fairly sideways in, in Microsoft stock for fair, a, a very long time. The 150 is basically the bottom of this market. 
while the 100 moving average and the 50 have been substantial uh, support uh, uh, the last few months. So let's look at Amazon. Amazon also fell quite significantly. We went from 3,356 all the way down to roughly 3,140. Um, and that's a fall of 6.17% in the last three or four trading days. And, and this is probably the bottom of this market. From now on, it's technically just up. We can look at the stochastic in the lower charts, the two-hour chart, probably one-hour chart, and we can see that we have already crossed the signal line. And that basically means that we will most likely see um, um, increase or uh, basically a growth within the price of this stock in the next few hours. So let's look at uh, Google. Same thing here. We broke down to the these previous lows here. So Google has had quite a rough time, rough weeks. We went from these highs of 18.53 all the way down to, uh, to uh, 17.05, and that's a fall of roughly 7.54%. So there was additional bad news about uh, Google today. I don't think it will have any real effect. It is basically that the employees are creating a union and usually that is seen as bearish for a stock because that will increase uh, salaries, less earnings and and so on. And but uh, seriously, it's 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 it'll be very very minor. It has been an extremely powerful union to be very honest. But at this point, I don't think that uh, Google is going to go significantly lower. If we do, if we manage to break these levels here, you have to fill this gap here. We'll go all the way down to 16.39. It's basically the 100 moving average. And I I fairly had, I don't really think that we're going there. We are on the edge of being oversold. Um, so no, that's not going to happen. We can also see we're touching... You basically have touched the bottom of the bullish band, and that's why we basically pulled back. So I'm buying at this point, and no one's just basically of selling this whatsoever. So Facebook, this stock has had a really rough time. We have been trading at this level here, which is significant support, which is 268, uh, not 268, 265. We're trading at 268 at this current stage. So we pull back from this uh, price level here. And uh, at this stage, I think we are going back towards the 50 moving average at uh, 276. If we manage to break that, then we'll go and test these uh, previous highs here, or roughly 288, and then to 298. We'll find quite significant resistance at 300. So no one is basically of selling this. This is definitely a buy in the at this current stage. So. One of the very few tech stocks that had a really good day today is basically Tesla. So Tesla is getting significantly um, over, uh, over bought at this point. We can see it over 72. And if you look at the Bollinger Band, we are way outside of the Bollinger Band. And we are pulling back. And that is usually a very, very bad sign. At this point, I think that we're going to see a fall of Tesla of roughly, or is it roughly 10.16%. So that is being, that's that's very likely that that is going to happen. So we have seen these massive rallies here. We saw one of here. That's basically a rally of twenty percent, and then a fall of roughly thirteen point thirty five percent. We saw another rally here of roughly twenty two percent, and then a fall back towards the twenty exponential of roughly eleven point six percent. And now we have seen another rally up towards this level here, which is 21%. And you can expect a fall from these highs to the 20 exponential of roughly 12.8%. So could basically start shorting this, but um, I've learned not to short Tesla stock because people will buy this at any price. But if you look at technical indicators here, it's basically screaming at, the screen, at us that, this is going to go lower. This is not a good idea to buy this at this current stage. Um, and you should basically wait until you get towards the 20 exponential. That's around 647 at this current stage. And um, there's basically a buying opportunity. And then you can basically target these previous highs again. And that's a trade of roughly 
six, uh, roughly 16.25%. That's a very good trade. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.